Hello, my name is Igor Posovets from 3DIO and today I would like to introduce you the Flatiron Multibake Max Script. This small tool provides a convenient dialog, uh, this widget, to automate baking multiple ungroup groups in Flatiron in 3D Studio Max. I have noticed in the last time in a lot of discussions in our Discord channel that our customers and Flatiron users have a problem to bake multiple groups uh, in an automated way. This means they create a lot of uh, unwrap groups, for example, stairs, windows, and so on and so on. And then each time they want to bake them, they have to click one after another, bake, then wait for the baking process to uh, finish, and then bake another group, and so on and so on. So this is not a very user-friendly way. And thanks to Guido here, he has created a small code snippet that helps uh, automating the whole process via MaxScript uh, in 3ds Max. So I have asked our developers uh, to create a small user interface to make it more accessible. In this tutorial, I would like first to show you how to download and where to download the script, how to install it correctly, and how to engage it in your production. So let's start first uh, with the installation. You can find this script on our GitHub. So you can go to github.com slash 3DIO and you can find it in the description below. And among other scripts that we offer here for free download, like uh, scripts for Bones Pro and uh, Blender and AXRIO, you will find Flatiron Multibake. So simply click on it and then uh, Either you click here and download zip or you pick the latest release here. Uh, I have also created a complete installation and uh, usage uh, documentation, but because the most of the people doesn't read, I have created this video. So this is a non-scripted video. I will talk and click and make it very slow so you can follow every and each of my steps. So once you have downloaded the script, look like this. This is this archive, uh, zip archive. You go inside and you need to throw things from this zip archive. This is the Flatiron Multi-Bake Max Script, also MCR, and the Flatiron Bake uh, icon. You can see it here in the right corner. How to install it? To install it, you go to your hard drive, to your C drive, and then to users, and then to your user folder. In this case, this is Igor. And in this user folder, you go to App Data. If you cannot see this App Data folder for some reason, this means that your Windows is not configured to show the hidden folders. So either you configure a Windows to show all the hidden folders on your system, or you click here in this uh, taskbar and uh, write backslash App Data and press Enter, and then you can access this hidden pandemonium. Now you go to local and then you go to Autodesk and then you go to 3ds Max, not these three Max uh, different versions here, but in 3D Max folder. And then you pick your 3ds Max version you're using uh, in your case. I will take, for example, this 2020 because it's open in the background. Then you go to this ANU folder and in this ANU folder, there are two folders we need, user icons and user macros. So simply, drag and drop the max script, this Flatiron Multibake MCR, into user macros, and Flatiron Bake PNG, this is the icon, into user icons. That's actually everything. Uh, why is it here? Why is it in the local Autodesk 3ds Max? This is because you have the rights as a user to install the script on your computer. If you are admin, you can install it in your 3ds Max program folder. You can find the same folder, Max scripts, and so on and so on. But the, most of our customers are working in companies. I am lecturing myself in three different universities. You don't have rights to write in the program folder. So this is the most common and the most convenient way to install scripts is to, to go to the app data, Autodesk, and put your scripts here. You can copy paste this uh, folder to your uh, home computer and so on, so you can take all these uh, settings uh, uh, video. Now, once you have copied these files, you have to restart 3D Studio Max, and then we will set up Flatiron Multibake script so it is visible in your interface. After you have restarted 3ds Max, uh, you have to set up your interface so that you can see this button in your toolbar. To do this, go to the toolbar, uh, to the top bar, 
um, to the some empty space area here, press right mouse button and select customize. This customize open this widget. We go to the toolbars because we have, because we want to customize the toolbar and uh, be sure that you're in the main UI group and uh, find the category 3D IO. As you can see, I have already installed a few of, this, of our scripts here and one of them is if you have installed the multi-bake script correctly, you will see it automatically here with the corresponding icon. Now, the last thing you have to do, is just click this icon and drag and drop it to your toolbar. That's everything. Don't forget to save these settings so you can see it next time when you start your Max. Now, I will create uh, three different unwrapping groups for this scene. I have created this very simple scene with uh, this cyborg robot. It consists of hard surfaces, of organic stuff, for example, these body parts and the room. Um, I will render it for a second so it should look like something like this. It's uh, very, very simple. Uh, it just should illustrate the, the working process and we will bake it now. So as first I will select, select all hard surface parts of, this, of, of the scene and call them, for example, hard surface stuff. I will undrop everything in UV channel 4. I will select hard surface and because I'm using V-Ray, I will choose V-Ray bake element. Let's go scroll down and take V-Ray complete map. Complete map is because I want both the shadows and GI and, and uh, colors everything in uh, one texture map. And the uh, final created uh, material will be a standard material. So we will, I want to have this uh, PNG in the diffuse slot. That's everything. Then close it and then press simply unwrap. And after a few seconds, all those hard surface parts there's approximately 100,000 faces, I would say 100 UV charts will be packed into one sheet. Now, next step is, let us do it with the organic stuff, with soft body parts. These are, as you can see here, these parts, and I will call them uh, organic stuff, and I will switch to organic, and then press again, unwrap. So I have all this organic stuff unwrapped automatically. At last, I will select all three walls and the ground of the room. I'll call it room, it's everything. And it's also hard surface. Once again, unwrap and it is also unwrapped. So I have now, as you can see here, three unwrap groups. Without the script, I would have to select each of these groups and bake it manually. Uh, this means I would need to create a shell material, then remove the shell material. It's, it's actually a lot of a lot of clicks you don't need in this, in this case. Now the solution is you select open this flat iron multi bake. You see all three groups here. You select them one, two, three. You can pick only one or, or all of them, and then press bake. Now we restart texture baking process. It will take. Uh, a minute I have uh, set up a very low settings it's just the illustration of the process and I will be back uh, in a minute uh, to show you how it looks like at the end so the texture baking process is almost complete you will see it now it writes the last it writes the last PNG file on the hard drive and that's everything so I will delete the lights we don't need them anymore so you see the scene, it is now um, a real-time scene with all shades and lights and shadows baked. So if I move, for example, uh, uh, the room, you will see that the shadow is actually baked in the room as well as in the objects. And as such, you can simply select everything and export it to FBX or OBJ and um, export it to Sketchfab, Unreal, Unity, whatever. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have questions or if you need more info, please contact us anytime or visit us in our Discord channel and write your opinions or ideas here. We are all the time listening and uh, watching what we are doing. Thanks. Bye.